As with most things, one way to save you some money in the long run is to invest a little effort repairing minor damage to your alloy wheels. Minor scrapes and general wear and tear can be fixed without a visit to a professional garage. Before you start your repair you'll need the following. Gaffer tape or equivalent masking tape. Thinners and lacquers. Filler spray. Sandpaper of 250. 400 knifing putty. Sanding and cleaning if you have ever painted a wall you'll know the importance of washing it down with warm soapy water. Washing up liquid is best. Well it's the same with alloy wheel repair. A good clean will remove and wax or dirt from the wheel surface giving a good solid foundation to start from. The sandpaper will remove any abrasive edges from the scrape. Obviously you should ask for a second opinion on whether this is going to be possible in the first place. The surface does not have to be glass smooth but there should be no rough edges. The sandpaper should also be wet and rinsed often, which reduces the abrasive effect and stops clogging smoothing surfaces. Now it's time for the knifing putty. This is a substance which dries and hardens quite rapidly so there is balancing act between smeary putty fingers and the dry powder on the ground. Don't be surprised if you have to practice this. But place the putty into the scrape. Wait for a bit and then shape and smooth it as best you can. It is a good idea to use more than you actually need because you're going to sand the excess away. At this stage you can go and have a cup of tea or coffee because you have to wait for the putty to dry. Follow the instructions and then wait another 10 minutes. Once you're satisfied then you can gently sand it down. Starting with the 250 grit paper. Again it doesn't have to impeccably smooth. But there should be no lumps. The filler does as its name suggests and provides an adhesive surface for the paint. Be aware that you may need to leave this to harden for at least several hours. Taping and painting. Once you're ready to paint you want to make sure the tire stays free of paint so apply the tape where the wheel joins the tire. A further hint here is to immediately remove any unwanted spray paint with kitchen roll dipped in thinners. This will again save you time in the long run. This is where the 800 grit sandpaper comes in. Use it to make the wheel as smooth as you can and prepare it for the top coat of paint. Top coat and avoid the temptation to apply all the paint in one go. Less is definitely more at this stage. Also, practice using the spray on newspaper. And before use really make sure you shake the can for at least 60 seconds. If your arm is feeling it that's good. Apply 4 coats and wait for 15 minutes between each spray. Finally you'll need to apply the lacquer which protects the paint and gives the metallic paint the finish you need. As with the paint, apply in steps. It's much thinner so you need 3 separate and very carefully applied coats. The above is guide to the overall process of making minor repairs to your allow wheels. If you have never done this before ask a friend to come and help and if the damage is not minor or beyond your abilities. It could be a trip to the garage after all.